Hey guys, what's going on? It's Nock. Welcome along to my March update video. And I genuinely don't know what to say or how to put March into context. What a crazy, crazy month um, March has been. And things have just sort of escalated and developed so quickly. Um, it's just absolutely crazy where we are right now. I just want to start off first and foremost, I guess, by saying I hope everybody is staying safe, everybody is well. Um, these are very weird and difficult times uh, for everybody, um, not only yourselves, but your families. Um, I hope um, anybody that out there that is in a vulnerable situation is uh, safe. I hope you've got a good network of support around you. Um, for anybody who isn't or that, that is well, I hope you are looking out for those that are vulnerable and um, going that extra bit just to make sure everybody is um, has got what they need and is staying safe. Um, it's just absolutely un unprecedented to think what we're going through at the minute. Um, I spoke to my grandfather who's 90, 97. And, you know, when I said to him, I said, I guess this sort of compares to war times, um, the way that we're all locked down and stuff. But um, certainly it's nothing I've ever lived through. I'm sure a lot, none of you have ever lived through anything similar to this before at all. Um, and just hope that we can all follow the advice given to us by our governments and our authorities and stay at home, stay save lives, um, keep safe, keep isolating, keep your distance from people. And um, if we all do our bit, hopefully that will help to move this situation further, um, quicker than if we all just sit around and twiddle our thumbs. But yeah, it's absolutely crazy times indeed. Um, an update from, from me personally, um, we are, as a family, we are self-isolating. We have been in self-isolation since the weekend, since Saturday. Um, my daughter, uh, I think it was sort of back end of Thursday, she developed sort of like a cough out of nowhere. She was quite hot to touch on front and back. And um, the cough is still there. It's a persistent cough. So under the guidelines of the NHS here in England, we have been self-isolating. Um, not that I don't think any of them will see this video, but I just want to say thank you to all our friends who have offered to help, offered to pick us up shopping um, and different bits and pieces. Um, the support you're offering us is gratefully appreciated. So we're in isolation now. We can't go to like mingle or go to shops or anything until the 11th of April. Obviously, I say mingle. It's not like we can go out and mingle with people afterwards, but at least from the 11th of April, assuming none of us develop any further symptoms, um, we'll be able to then go and do our own shopping and um, hopefully we'll be able to go and help anybody else who is um, in a similar situation. But um, other than that, we're all good. Nobody else is showing any signs or symptoms, so um, it may just be sort of a cough that she's picked up from somewhere. But um, yeah, fingers crossed, everything is going to go um, well. Um from a personal note, um, from the streaming, the YouTube side of things, if there is anything I can do or anything I can stream, any service I can provide during this time which will lighten the mood, lighten the spirit, please do let me know um, via DMs or in comments and things. I'll be more than happy to run community nights, whether it be like Jackbox nights or anything you guys would like to see. Please do let me know and I will try my very best to be able to... Um, bring some sort of cheer um, you know I do love to be here and entertain and hopefully bring entertainment to people so if there's anything in particular during these difficult times you would like to see please do let me know um, I'll, I'll try and help out as best I can but like I say most importantly I do hope everybody is staying safe I hope your families are safe um, during this difficult time and if we all pull together fingers crossed you know we can get through this um, relatively quickly and relatively safely as well. So I'm not gonna go on for too long during this video, um, just as a sort of an update from myself as to what's been going on. Um, 
the weight loss is still going good despite everything that's going on um the the group have decided to um close its doors and cancel all groups however they have now um started doing this week virtual online sort of meetings at a reduced price uh, to what i normally pay so yeah i'm still quite excited that um i can still see all my group members uh, who are partaking in that um it's one of the things it's not just about the weight loss thing for me for the group it was more that i was sort of getting out and going to interact and seeing and speaking with other people so having that online group during this time still allows me to do that which i'm quite happy about but um regards to the weight loss though um i was a little bit skeptical towards the end of the month because it was my birthday um last week um and we'd had a chinese we'd had a takeaway and um, some bits and pieces on my birthday but um yeah we're back on it i lost three pounds this week um i'm now down to 16 stone um exactly so i'm actually half a stone now or seven pounds off my um slimming groups target which is, is really good so if i can carry on this momentum into april then you know maybe by the end of april i'll be at my target which is just unbelievable for me personally to think that um in such a short space of time i've managed to sort of you know focus down and, and get to where i want to get um obviously with the current situation and, and lockdowns and things going on at the minute it's all going to be dependent on sort of mindset so i'm just trying to keep myself positive i think a positive mindset certainly helps with weight loss um but yeah if, if things start to go downhill in any way shape or form then it might mean that we're going into the cupboards and, and snacking more than we need to but um so far so good everything is going well um obviously the shops also come a big part into it because if we can't get the food that we would normally buy from the shops then we can't make the normal meals and we might be forced to eat um slightly more unhealthy than we normally would but um i'm still able to go for my walks which is good because even on uh, even as self-isolating we're still allowed to go out um and have our one form of exercise a day so i'm still going out on my daily walks um which is really good so just trying to carry on life as normal um i've spoken to a lot of people um recently who you know are working from home or having to, to struggle from home and I, th I think myself quite lucky that because i've worked from home for so long the current situations isn't really too much different from my normal life not re not much has really changed in my life other than you know a few things have closed but monday to friday my life is staying indoors anyway so um yeah i'm quite thankful that i'm able to sort of carry on my everyday life as normal for the majority um of the time so yeah i am sort of blessed in that but uh, yeah hopefully like i say the, the weight loss progress will continue and um by the end of april we could be there so uh, fingers crossed that that's um on the agenda at the end of april with regards to the YouTube stuff, I mean, this month's been a bit a bit weird. I was trying to get back into Portal 2 community maps, but with everything going on at the minute, and my workplace is all working from home, so we're having morning meetings um, at half past eight, half an hour before we start work. So um, that means I can't go out in the morning for my walk, so I'm having to take my walk um, during my lunch break. So um, I've not really had a great amount of time to record any portal 2 stuff but i have pushed a lot more videos out um this month um the worms um reloaded commentaries they were they've been really popular and really quite successful on the channel granted i haven't had time over the last two and a half weeks to record anymore i've got about three more to record for the rest of the march match maps uh, matches um death wish hasn't sent me any over yet um hope he's well i hope you're well buddy if you're watching this i know we've played a couple of games of worms and spoken a couple of times since but um yeah whether or not that continues i, I don't know obviously everything's up in arms at the minute but um i've pushed out a few more dj sets to youtube i will apologize to anybody in the uk the last couple of dj sets for some reason have been blocked in the uk because of tracks used so um uk viewers may not get to see those but yeah, I've been trying to carry on with my weekly DJ sets just to sort of, you know, bring a bit of cheer and uh, a bit of entertainment. Like I say, I love to entertain. So a um, bit of entertainment to everybody watching and stuck at home. Bring like a, a bit of a, a nighttime vibe to that. Um, and you may have already seen that um, I have started something that I'm calling the Master Portal Quest. So this is my quest 
to play um, every Portal and Portal 2 mod that was made and is basically out there in development. Um, I'd like to thank We Too. He sent me over a link, um, something I was discussing while doing something somewhere else um, the other week. And he sent over a list, actually, of all the ones that he'd compiled. So um, if you look down below in the description, there'll be a link to my spreadsheet, which basically shows my progress, um, which ones I've got on there and which I haven't. If you've got any more that you know of which aren't on the list, please do send them across and I will add them to the list. So the rules to this is that even if I've played the mods before, if I haven't got YouTube footage um, or a history of playing the mod, I will be replaying it. So, so far I have played through um, the original Portal game. We've played through um, Blue Portals, which is a mono portal mod. And we've played through Factum Solace episode one and two. Those will be out on YouTube later on this week. Um, so tonight, which is Wednesday the 1st of April, I will start recording uh, Portal Pro. I have played that before, so I don't know, might not take us too long. Straight on the back of that, we'll be playing through Portal Prelude, which I've <laughs> heard some interesting things about indeed. I think I've got like two more Portal 1 mods to play before we get onto the back on to Portal 2 mods. Um, I will say I'm not, I'm not a massive fan of some of these Portal 1 mods, mainly because I really don't like the flinging mechanic. Uh, well, not the flinging mechanic, but the way flinging is in Portal 1 and the, like, the whole shifts the whole camera around. It really disorientates me as a player. And um, I really struggle when there's like segments of um, having to do sort of quick portaling while you're flinging or quick moving around. So um, if you've seen my, I think it's possibly the second, yeah, the second part of the Blue Portals playthrough, you'll notice that there's a couple of rooms on there um, towards the end like an ending gauntlet and you have to do like a bit of flinging and moving about i really struggle with that because i just don't I, I really don't like doing that but um yeah no i thought it'd be something good to do i know i kind of have plans on twitch all the time of doing these like gaming marathons and and whatnot and whilst it's good i i kind of I don't know it, i think some of the games it can get a bit tedious doing all the time um like the doom thing i really like playing the doom the doom games i'm gonna go back to them but i just think playing them in such quick quick succession for a game that i don't really play a lot of is is quite a, a daunting challenge um the portal sort of quest i think is going to be less daunting the fact that i'm you know i've got so many hours of experience in portal and as well a lot of my viewer base is portal related so i think it will be probably more appreciative um, of my viewers and my community that I, I play Portal uh, and go through this quest. So, um, But if you'd like I said before, if you've got any suggestions or anything you would like me to do or anything you'd like to see from me during this time, please do let me know in uh, private messages or via the comments down below and uh, we'll definitely see where we can go from there. But um, yeah, I think that's pretty much going to round up um, this vlog update. Like I say, it's a bit... I wouldn't say it's a it's a it's a downer this month, but it's definitely it's definitely an interesting one. The mood's a bit more somber, and um, like I said at the top, I just really hope that everybody out there is staying safe and that everybody is taking care of their loved ones and their vulnerable people in this time of difficulty and uncertainty. As a community, I hope we can just all pull together, even if it's just to you know. Offer a word to somebody and just to say hello. You know, it, it takes two seconds out of your day just to say hello to somebody. I was out on my walk last week and um, it was a lovely sunny day and there was lots of elderly people just sat outside the houses in the gardens um, enjoying the sunshine. And I just thought it'd be nice just to spend a minute or two just to stop, say hello, just give them a couple of minutes of my time. It's It's free to do and, you know, even if I'm the only person that spoke to them that day, it's just somebody they've had a chance to interact with. And I'm sure they'll appreciate just, you know, somebody giving them a chat. So look out for everybody, guys. Um, stay safe. Hopefully in April we'll be a bit more positive and things will have evolved and adapted. The situation might be a bit better. Um, I can't see personally the UK being any different in a month's time. I think it's going to go... 
at least till the end of April, possibly into the beginning, first couple of weeks of May before we maybe start opening restaurants and, and getting any sort of lifted restrictions on this lockdown. But obviously, it's a fluid situation and we'll just have to see where we go. But uh, like I said, and I've said it a hundred times, guys, take care and um, I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.